Hi folks, welcome back to Journal Sunshine. Today I'm going to share with you my number one tip for getting past that oh so intimidating blank page when you're journaling. My name is Lauren, if we haven't met, and if you'd like, grab your journaling supplies and feel free to work along with me. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Sometimes I pre-decorate the pages in my journals ahead of time. This is a journal that I carry around with me everywhere, so I can jot down thoughts or notes, and I don't always have supplies around to decorate the pages when that inspiration strikes. In fact, sometimes it can hold up that creative burst of energy if I have to stop and decorate in the moment when I wanna be writing. I might even forget what it was I wanted to write in the first place. Speaking of writing, I like to use fountain pens. This Caveco Allsport is my favorite at the moment, and I just fill in writing around these little areas of the page that I decorate. Here I've got the A6 size Nanami Cafe note with Tomoe River grid paper, and a whole smattering of stickers, washi tapes, and fountain pens, and you can do this with whatever you've got around. Honestly, I hope you feel inspired to grab maybe those supplies you've got lying around in a drawer somewhere that you haven't had a reason to use yet. This is also a really low pressure way to make use of that craft stash. For a lot of people, there can be a fair amount of pressure to make your journaling pages look good, especially in a time when everyone shares these kinds of things on social media. So before I really get started, let me just preface this by saying that you don't have to decorate your journal pages at all if you don't want to. It just happens to be something I enjoy doing in the right context, and I especially love flipping through journals I've decorated in the past. It feels good, like I've accomplished something. But when I take some time before I want to write to sit down, get my creativity flowing, and decorate a whole bunch of pages at once, they're already looking beautiful and ready to go when I do have something to write about. And for me, that makes both sides of the process a lot less daunting. So recently I tried this technique where I spent some time just decorating the next group of 10 to 20 pages in my journal. I started doing this on a day where I didn't really have anything to write about, but I was in the mood to journal. Has that ever happened to you? <laughs> Is it just me? It ended up being something that I now keep up with. Like when I've been writing for a bunch of pages without having decorated them, I'll check to see how many more decorated pages I have left and I'll make time to work on a bunch more, like I am here, before I reach the end and hit a totally blank page again. And if I did, it wouldn't be the end of the world. I could just write on that page or I could decorate it in the moment. But the point is, Sometimes you're just in the mood to use stickers and you don't really want to write about anything and this is a perfect way to deal with that kind of creative energy. So here what I'm doing is going through some of my clear floral stickers and choosing some that speak to me. I bought a ton of these a long time ago, probably more than I should have purchased, and I just have a ton of them to use and I found that I was nervous to use them even though I had so many. It's not like I was going to run out and I had to save them. And so when I started doing this, I started actually using those stickers and they're really fun because you can see through them. And so I'll show you in a little bit. I actually really like layering washi tapes and things like that underneath the stickers because the fact that they're clear means that you can see through them. Obviously. Sometimes I just like having them spread out around the table, <laughs> but then I find one at some point that I want to start decorating with, and I pick this little blue flower, and I kind of try to somewhat balance them across the pages and also switch up as I turn to a new page, kind of where things are located, just to, you know, get you some visual interest and not have too many things in one area and not enough in another. So I'm gonna put the sticker here and then I am grabbing some of my favorite washi tape. This is from Bomb Kuhan. They have a lot of really, really beautiful illustrated washi tapes over there that are unique to them and I just love them. And because I'm layering, I put down the washi tape first and then I peel the backing off of the sticker and put that on top. And some of these stickers are opaque and some of them are more transparent. Like this one, you can see through the actual floral part of the sticker, but it's okay. So I made sure that the flower was up by itself, but the leaves at the bottom weren't as important to me. So it was okay that I had washi tape underneath. I also have this little box of like sticker flakes. And so I didn't want to do too large floral stickers on this spread. 
I thought maybe I'll grab a smaller plant to put up in the other corner and that will kind of balance out that thing that I did on the first page. But I am still using another piece of the washi tape so that it'll match a little bit. And that's going to go right there. Yeah, or there. <laughs> really, you can't make a mistake doing this, which is also something that I love. Feeling very Bob Ross at the moment, but we don't make mistakes, only happy accidents. And if it looks bad, you can always peel it up or cover it with something else. Honestly, this is just fun. It's just fun and easy. You can use supplies that you were anxious about using for whatever reason. There's no real reason to be anxious about using these kinds of supplies, but for some reason I get in my head about it and this exercise frees me up to not have to worry about that. I've given myself permission to not be worried about stickers and where I put them and whether it's the right place to put them and I give you permission as well. As I kind of go through my supplies and decide if this needs another sticker and which one, if any, I am going to switch to some chill music for you to listen to and I'm going to speed up the process a little bit. It's been in real time up until now and I know that some people like to journal along with videos like this, especially if there's chill music in the background. So feel free to do that if you'd like to and if you just want to sit and watch and relax, that's okay too. Honestly, when I watch journaling videos, I just like to see somebody else's style for a little bit and take some inspiration from that. So I hope you're able to get that out of this video and I will check back in with you in a little while.
I think I'm going to stop there for now and I'll give you a quick flip through of the pages I ended up decorating today. In the comments, tell me which one resonated with you the most, which color combination, maybe a particular arrangement you liked. And if you end up pre-decorating some pages in your own journal because of this video, tag me on Instagram or Twitter at LaurenFairWX so I can check them out. You can even use the hashtag journal sunshine so more of the people in our little community can see what you've created. Remember to subscribe if you'd like to see more journaling content from me and feel free to let me know what you'd like to see next. I've been having a great time making these videos for all of you and I'm excited to share more in the future. Also, I forgot to mention this notebook cover is a chic sparrow folio in the leather Yaffe. It's one of my favorites. Okay. I think that was everything. I hope you're having a good day today and I will see you again soon.